Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we are going to take a look at the new and upcoming multiplayer modes for the game. As you might remember we did have a little overview video um, a few months back which was detailing the stuff we are going to implement in the next big update and among these were four multiplayer modes that is the timed challenge mode, the engine multiplayer mode, the um, factory challenge mode and the rally challenge mode as well as the lap challenge lap time challenge mode and yes you can count that is five yes because we didn't count the engine challenge mode which already exists um, so what has happened to those well two will have to go because they are uh, either make more sense to implement later that would be for the factory challenge mode which we will include in the first um, Steam update which includes a buyer demographic. So what remains is the lap time challenge mode which is relying on a very much different architecture than the other multiplayer modes. So we are shifting that back and delaying that to get the rest out a bit quicker focusing on different things and that would be um, the existing engine challenge mode as well as the time challenge mode and the rally challenge mode. What I want to show you today is the first iteration of the rally challenge mode. For that we are jumping right into multiplayer here. So let's join the normal race game 18 or whatever that is and see what that entails. Alright, so we have 232 seconds left before the game starts. Hmm, you might wonder what is that about? Why why isn't it like in the current race, um, oh, not race, in the current engine challenge mode where you can start the game when everyone has pressed ready? The multiplayer system has been changed in that there are different challenges to be launched at different times of the hour. So there's one set of three different difficulty um, race challenges launching per hour and there is um, like the engine challenge mode and time challenge mode launching at different times. So this has the effect that players are bunched up and they are all playing in the same game which gives uh, much more interesting results and uh, makes it easier to measure your skill against other players. What we are doing right here is I'm here sitting in here alone and I have admin powers of course so um, we can just start the game from here by um, doing that. But um, what this is about is first of all the generation. What is this rally challenge mode about? If you have played the forum challenges by for example Martin, uh, the buyer, you know pretty much what this is about. You get a set of specifications and limitations and then you are supposed to build a full car to these specifications and on top of that you are supposed to race this car on a random track. Like not random pre-made track but randomized, completely randomized track and post the best time possible. And here we have our limitations for this time, easy reliability, no special, uh, special manufacturing requirements for the engine, naturally aspirated and uh, a reasonable amount of money in 1992. Interesting. So from here on out it's pretty much a normal game of designing a car. The difference is in normal mode you have 10 minutes to do so and optimize your car for this racetrack. The racetrack will be first visible, so far first visible, that will be changed once I'm going into the test mode, test track mode in trim. And yeah, let me design a car and I'll be right back and we can take a look at this. Alright, so here we have the car and I still have 160 seconds left. Hmm, quite sporty this thing. So uh, I didn't forget to put a wing and a lip on for this trial and here we are on the test track and this is the little track which we are supposed to drive. So first of all let's see how it does and if we can improve this time. 
All right. We, of course, you don't have to watch the whole thing, and the test track will be um, more visible in uh, future versions. It will be uh, displayed right at the start, so that you can have a good guess at what is coming up. And these tracks are generated with a few different parameters. And that is... Oh, well, first of all, I have to check this one and it's, it's pretty good so let's say I'm I'm all happy with this time and I don't need need any more optimization of course there's lots and lots of optimization okay, let's, let's just make it all the downforce we need all the downforce and lots of sportiness test track started is this faster yeah just a bit faster anyway so these tracks are um, like five kilometers long and they are generated by various parameters and among these are how much of the track is straight and how um, the flow of the track is if it's like very much uh, differing like short curves and short straights short curves again and so on or if they are more if it's more sweeping and so on and then of course there is the narrowness of the track um, in or the severity of the uh, of the curves, how tight they are or how wide they are, and then there is hilliness and bumpiness and so on. And these parameters will be displayed uh, to the player before you are going into this mode. But yes, so you are um, always going in here and then testing your car, which you've built to the requirements, and then you are getting your lap time if you have passed the limitations. And of course the best player will try to get as close as possible to these limitations without breaking them. So for instance reliability of 50, yeah, I guess I have plenty of room to go there. Let's see, reliability 71.8. So um, yes, that is the different variants we are planning and this will be quite a lot of fun I think. Uh, I will be definitely playing in the evenings if I have a chance to once we are launching on Steam. Joining you guys in the, uh, in the fray. Alright, hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time.